Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the chute rotation gear set in your snowblower, first make sure the engine has cooled. Next, remove the wire and boot from the spark plug to prevent the engine from accidentally starting. We recommend you perform this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Remove the retaining clip securing the chute control rod and pull the rod free. Carefully tip the snowblower forward so it rests on the auger housing. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to remove the screws, securing the handle to the control lever. Slide off the handle. Use a 3 8 inch socket to remove the mounting bolt, securing the control housing to the console. Next, remove the bolt securing the grounding wire. You can now pull the control housing free of the console. Now remove the screws securing the two halves of the control housing together. Separate the housing and remove the old pinion gear. Next, lift out the gear shaft, remove the washer, and slide off the old bevel gear. You're now ready to install the new chute rotation gear set. Properly position the control lever and slide on the new bevel gear with the teeth facing away from the lever. Slide on the washer and align the lower washer and gear shaft in the housing. Apply some grease to the new pinion gear and to the teeth on the bevel gear. Align the indicator marker on the new pinion gear with the marker on the bevel gear. Then rotate until the pinion gear is fully seated in the housing. Join the two halves of the control housing together, making sure the control cable is routed through the access hole and control lever slot. Replace the screws to secure. Realign the control housing in the console. Replace the mounting bolts to secure. Realign the grounding wire and secure it with the bolt. Now slide the handle onto the chute control lever and secure it with the screws. Return the snowblower to its upright position. Confirm that the holes in the gearbox coupler are facing straight up with the chute facing forward and that the chute control lever is at the one o'clock position. Now insert the rounded end of the chute control rod into the gearbox coupler and the hex end into the control coupler. Secure the rod with the retaining clip. Confirm that the chute has a full range of movement. 
Then reattach the spark plug wire and boot. Refill the tank with fuel and your snowblower should be ready for use.